Hi guys, Iron Cameraman here. Today is going to be a pretty interesting theory that I think a lot of viewers have thought about. However, I decided to take it a step further and thought about how exactly this event could happen with the return of old, iconic characters. We all know that Boom never ceases to amaze us, even when it seems like there's nothing left to show. After all, for 72 episodes, a lot has happened in the show, and since I and the rest of the viewers still enjoy watching the plot develop, it means that he does everything right and tactfully. And plus, we know that Dafuk Boom loves number magic and is constantly experimenting with different ways to show the leaks. Whereas before, somewhere before episode 50, we only saw classic frame leaks from him alone. Then for the last 22 episodes, Boom has already managed not only to give his exclusives to very many YouTubers, but also did it very often in the form of troll leaks. And recently, as you may remember, he gave interviews to almost all YouTubers who do the breakdowns, including me. But among all this variety, the most recent interesting leak, which is remembered the most, was of course Puzzle Leak, which we saw before the release of Part 3 of Episode 70. Just remember how cool it was when YouTubers got the leaks in parts, and viewers saw the meaning of that picture gradually, not at once. And when it came together, everyone started discussing who was going to die. So that's what I'm saying, taking into account all these facts, and the fact that Dafuk Boom began to stir up interest in his episodes in interesting ways, there is one logical thought. Most likely, before the 80th episode comes out, we should also expect the same puzzle leak, or another even more interesting kind of leak, in which some fact and a couple of correct answers will be given again. But why do I think that this time it won't be the death of any of the characters, but a legendary return? I'm going to tell you about it now, friends, and as usual, I'll try to back up all my guesses with facts and interesting details to make it even more interesting for you. But before that, don't forget to put a like under the video. Last time, we easily got a record 10,000 likes, so if we can get that many likes again, I will release another video tomorrow. Anyways, here we go. I'll answer the question why I believe in the return of old characters, and why exactly in episode 80. I was prompted to this thought by the current situation in the series. And I mean here not only about the triple death in episode 70, but rather about the vector of plot development after this episode. I think everyone will agree that from the moment when the agents reached the main laboratory, the plot has changed dramatically in a harsher direction. If before the viewers hardly took seriously the theories where cameraman Titan dies or gets infected, now this kind of theories already seem the most probable. And because of even more heat between Ast Astro toilets and ski bitty toilets. There are also thoughts that maybe even G Man won't survive until episode 80. After all, I will remind you that in one of the last leaks we saw the number 74, which most likely means the death of Astro Toilet or G Man in two episodes. But I think even if that happens, it is G Man who is my first candidate who is bound to return to the series and most likely he will be able to come back from that world with the help of the unfinished last project of the scientist in the container. My next two candidates who I think have a chance to return to the series are, of course, Plunger and Dark Speakerman. But while in the case of Dark Speaker, I'm not too sure, since we've never seen the Speaker Man race act as secret agent sidekicks, Plunger is most likely in a ghostly state like the twin cameramen, so his return is very likely. Incidentally, before Dark Speakerman entered the scientist's office, he became transparent just like Plunger. This means that, purely technically, Secret Agent has the ability to resurrect Dark Speakerman. The next iconic character that is also on my list of legendary returns is Simp Cameraman. And here basically everything is clear, I don't even need to explain. After all, as you remember in the last video, I already mentioned that most likely this mysterious character, which Dafuk Boom started to show very often in different places and episodes, is him. But even if he isn't, either way, out of all of today's candidates, he ranks about the same level as Plunger in terms of expectation of his return to the series. Though no, there's actually another character, but more about him at the very end. And now we have Skibidi Scientist in the queue. I couldn't help but add him to this list, as he's going to be one of the candidates anyway, due to his great importance in the world of ski beady toilets. However, in my opinion, this character is definitely dead, and it's very risky to bring him back. I mean, if in the case of Plunger, for example, there is a loophole in the form of an artificial ghost world, which is in the computer of a secret agent. 
To return the scientist, De Fook Boom, first of all, it is necessary to justify this decision by some hard plot twist. And secondly, you need to do it beautifully, so that it does not seem from the outside as a way to hype disregarding the plot and logic. And there is another fact indirectly confirming this. If you pay attention to the official De Fook Boom store, you will notice that in the collection section, there are many iconic characters, including G-Man but no scientist. This means that while in the case of G-Man or other characters, De Fook has long plans, the scientist's story is already complete. And besides, you have to agree that such a return would be unnecessary because the Alliance was going to this event almost the whole series, and it's even hard to remember how many agents died because of this scientist. And it would devalue any death at all, because according to this logic can return in principle anyone. And this, as you can easily guess, will not go in favor of the series. Anyway, let's move on to our next candidate, and this time it's not even one character, but a whole group of one race. And we're talking about humans, of course. Humans have only been on the show for the first couple episodes, and for a long time nobody talked about them at all. But after 69 and 70 episodes, everything changed, because Dafuk Boom reminded us about them again. And if in 69 episodes it was just skeletons, then in 70 episodes we saw them in the form of a photo with the secret agent. This is how we understand the scientists of the laboratory before the invasion of Skibidi toilets. Of course, almost all humans are extinct, and that's a fact. But there is still a chance that some small part of them is hiding somewhere. When Russian YouTuber Fordell asked Boom if Secret Agent had a body, he said maybe. And as we understand from that answer, he's in no hurry to reveal any secrets about it yet. After all, if it turns out that the only person we have seen, not in the photo, does not have a physical body, the probability of even one living person is negligible. By the way, who did not watch my video about the fact that the secret agent is not really a person? I strongly advise you to watch it right after this video. You will definitely like it. And now the last character I wanted to tell you about. As you might have guessed, I'm going to talk about the Skibidi Cat. Yes, the one that every other Yuda Bear has been lazy enough to talk about lately. It all started again with one of Dafuk Boom's answers. When asked if Skibidi Cat would return to the show, he said maybe. And more recently, when the new Astro Toilet with Mask appeared, attentive viewers noticed a white symbol on his head. And as you can see, this thing looks a lot like a cat's paw. I'll even say more. Some of my viewers started throwing me this video, which is signed at the bottom with the word meow. Basically, if you don't listen, you can tell it's a meow, but of course it's not. It is probably our brain is already suggesting to us that it is meowing, because we really want to believe in this theory. However, no matter how absurd this theory may seem, in principle it has logic. After all, think about what we have seen, scientists and the Alliance and Skibidi toilets. What if it was the Skibidi cat that was able to create a race of astro toilets and lead them? but pretends that they are some kind of superior race and they should rule the ski beady toilets. Although, in reality, behind that red-eyed mask is an evil, meowing ski beady cat who is deceiving everyone. Well, friends, this is already a topic for separate video. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch my other videos and subscribe to the channel. Bye.